Greetings, this is Jeff Johnson, creator of WeatherMaker, just to quickly demo external weather API services for you. WeatherMaker Location Weather Script is the script that does all the work, so I've created a weather API object and added that script to it. That scene is in demo scene weather API. We have a weather zone script. That's the global weather zone. I've assigned it. It will activate automatically when you press play. The update rate is set to 15 seconds. That means it'll ping back to the API every 15 seconds for new weather. But you could probably increase that if you don't need as good a real-time updates. Place name is Baton Rouge, Louisiana, USA. I know that it's raining right there. We'll get to press and play in just a second to see that. Latitude can be set explicitly or can use negative 999 for the day-night cycle latitude or positive 999 for location services. If you want the script to manage starting and stopping of location services for you, simply leave this checked, otherwise uncheck. And then if it's checked, you can give it the accuracy and threshold meters. Let's go ahead and press play. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, it's raining right now. We've got the nice little rain icon here. If we go back to WeatherMaker, we see that it's now raining there. I'm going to go look at these. Delhi is hazy and foggy, and Portland is sunny, so we're going to try those out next. Delhi, India. It's transitioning to light fog, so this is an approximation of haze. I don't have any terrain or geometry in this scene, so the fog just extends basically forever. And then the last city to try is Portland, Oregon. Let's give that a try. It should become sunny. And now we're transitioning from fog to sunny. So that's how easy it is. Simply type in a place name or do a lat long. WeatherMaker will sync up for you. Have a look at that script, the WeatherMaker location weather script for all of the options or to make your own different API integration. Open weather map's pretty good though, so if you just want to stick with that, go ahead. I must remind you though that this is my shared API key. I'm happy for you to use it for testing, but if you ship anything anywhere outside of your workstation, please change that to your own API key, otherwise this API key will get banned and stop working. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and send any questions to support at digitalruby.com.